Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to go over my stock picks for the week of July 12th through the 16th. Just to reiterate, guys, I'm not a financial advisor. Make sure that you do your own research before investing. Also, if you find value in today's video, make sure that you smash the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy our content, and hit that notification bell. That way, YouTube can let you know every time we release new content. So, guys, let's dive right on into it. All right, guys, so before we get too far into the new picks, we are going to go over a recap of July 5th through the 9th. And I also want to give you a heads up for this upcoming week that it is vacation week for me. So I will be kind of somewhat off the grid <laughs> for um, for about a week. But I have a lot of uh, videos that are going to be coming in on the front end of the week. And I have some pretty made educational videos that will be scheduled for the back end of the week whenever I won't be making any videos uh, so just a heads up on that but you should see some all the way through Wednesday Thursday and then also you'll have some scheduled that'll pop up um, on you know Thursday Friday Saturday stuff like that so just wanted to give you a heads up but last week's picks guys were IDEX UVXY and FNGU all right guys so IDEX uh, was down about roughly six percent okay so I bought in then I bought more whenever it dipped about right here all right, so I did kind of average down and it started to kind of somewhat make a little decent move on Friday or try to. So this is a continued hold for me until for sure next week and maybe even beyond depending on what it does. It's right close to the resistance level of about 264. And I think if we pop through there and hold, we can start seeing some more move to the upside closer to the $3 range. I'm hoping uh, so we just kind of have to keep an eye on that UVXY. We talked about a market pullback, so you could have made a decent percentage off of it uh, if you got in at about the $26, $27 level. It got as high as $32 at one point, so you could have made for a decent little swing play on that ETF. And then FNGU, now we talked about how we were going to see a pullback in this one. We had been on a, a really, really good run in the past month or so, uh, so we did fall down to about that $35 uh, level. And we started to kind of make a recovery. So I'm thinking from here on out, uh, we should see, you know, it's uh, kind of creeping back up to that $39 mark. And if we can bust through that $39 mark and hold about $39.20, $39.50, then it's going to be a smooth sailing all the way probably to, you know, to $45, $50 bucks over the next uh, couple of weeks to a month. All right, guys, so my picks for this week are Golden Nugget Online Gaming, ticker symbol GNOG. Ecor, E C O R, and I Q S T. So last week, G Dog got another analyst overview and a buy rating and a price target of $27. So I see this one starting to kind of move back up and possibly, hopefully, finally <laughs> start making its way back towards that $20 mark. I think that this thing, you know, we know it has a lot of good things going for it. It is a longer term play, but hopefully, with that recognition maybe we'll get some more buyers back in and start pushing that thing up where it should be because at these prices guys it's an absolute steal in my opinion okay ecor uh, is going to be presenting at uh, the Leidenberg dalman 2021 virtual healthcare conference that's scheduled for july the 14th uh, so i think that this could potentially run it up prior to july 14th and then it might, could be kind of one of two scenarios right? it's going to be a buy the rumor sell the news type deal or and they're just going to kind of stay stagnant if they come out and say something good and they have some type of PR on it, then it'll probably shoot up after. But I'll show you this one. And this this stock and I have some history right here. OK, so I, I do like this stock here. And at these prices, man, that's uh, hard to pass up. So and the last one, guys, is IQST. And we all kind of know about IQST already, because if you follow the channel, we've talked about them before. But they are setting up for, in my opinion, it looks like a really good move to the upside and we're going to break that down on the charts here in a second on the watch list guys is zion oil and gas and this is going to be on my watch list for the entire month of july because they are supposedly getting close to completion of the uh, drilling of the mj2 well and we're hoping for an operational update we're hoping for some type of good news moving forward for znog uh, idex is on the watch list as well like i said if we can bust through and, and get it about 265 and hold, then we should hopefully continue to see some move to the upside, at least for the week. 
And this was originally the, the position I have now that I got into last week was a swing play. So I'm hoping to cash out and take some profits this week if we can, or take some profit off the table. And then UVXY, guys, keep an eye on that because if it does get undervalued again and the markets get overextended, the pullback still could not be over. It could see a bigger pullback. If they have any type of catalyst come out that spooks the market, this thing's going to fly two, three, four bucks. And then uh, you can make, you know, a, a decent percentage off of it for a swing play and take those profits and uh, pump it back into one of your plays that just pulled back and is now undervalued. So let's go ahead and take a look at the charts, guys, and let's see what they're telling us. Okay, guys, so here is Golden Nugget Online Gaming, ticker symbol GNOG. As you see, we got all the way to that SMA line, but we got rejected. Okay, so I can see it maybe pulling back down to about the $12 level, potentially. Okay, and then if we can hold around that $12 level and then shoot back up, we just got to get above about $13 to, uh, and, and hold around there, about $13, $13.50. If we can get around there and kind of consolidate and hold, that's going to be a good sign for us moving forward. $13.95 is your current resistance. Uh, but as you see here, we're a little bit past fair value, okay? But if we get down to about the 12, we're going to be fair value or almost below to undervalued. As you see here, when you get undervalued, this thing shoots right back up. So if you don't use any other indicator, the RSI is a great indicator to use, guys, for these either swing plays or to know when to get into a stock entry play um, for an average down or new position. So that's for Golden Nugget Online Gaming. Next up, guys, is Ecore. And you see here, this thing was kind of smooth sailing here at about close to the $2 level and just fell completely off of a cliff here. And we've been undervalued for a little while and we started to kind of bounce off a little bit. I can see it cooling back off and trying to get down closer to that dollar mark. All right, and if it does, that's where I would do the entry. But man, this thing has a lot of room to run, okay? You see it's at the bottom of the bottom of the FIB level. So even if you buy a few shares here and there um, and just wait for you know, some type of news to come out about these these type of healthcare stocks, guys, is they can fall off of a cliff, they can travel and just and chill at a certain price point, and then all of a sudden they get some breaking news and they just go, they just pop up a dollar, two dollars. So it's a kind of a longer term swing play, but um, you could also maybe make some money this week as well if just kind of keep an eye on it. If uh, prior to J uh, July 14th, if it starts running up, and then when it like maybe on Monday, Tuesday, if it, the price starts running up and you're in it, just keep in mind you probably want to sell out before July 14th because it might be a buy the rumor, sell the news type deal. Uh, but if it just kind of travels around here on that dollar mark, then that might not be a bad idea to grab some shares and just kind of hold it and wait. And don't put your whole life savings in it. Maybe you know get a couple hundred shares and keep an eye on it. And then as you can afford it, if you want to buy some more, you can do that as well. But uh, the current support is 99 cents, your current resistance. $1.65, you got to get above $1.56 and hold to confirm that we are back in an overall uptrend for this particular stock. Okay, next up, guys, is IQST. We're going to look at a potential cup and handle pattern forming for IQST. As you see here, here's your cup. There's our handle right here all right so we're looking at hopefully we can bounce off of this support line right here and shoot up to the upside your current overall uh, support is going to be about 47 and a half cents your current resistance of about 80 cents i drew this extra support line here at about 55 cents it looks like we bounced off of it twice which is a very very good sign so but we have to see some buying coming in right here we got to get one green candle uh, confirmed above that green EMA line to confirm that we're going to have a reversal. So you could technically get in here and possibly ride it up all the way to that 80 cent mark for a swing. But myself, this is a longer term play for me. So I'm hoping it does make some move to the upside. But if it doesn't, and if it just holds around that 55 cent mark, then it creates some good buying opportunities as well. Okay. Uh, ZNOG guys, we're just kind of keeping an eye on this bad boy here to see what happens and we could continue to see some bleeding down i don't know if we'll get as low as 27 cent support but currently and you have about a 58 cent resistance level 
Uh, we could just kind of trade sideways here at about 38 to 40 cents until we get some type of news about their uh, completion of drilling. Okay, an IDEX, we did get a buy signal late on Friday after hours. So I'm hoping maybe we can pop up above and get to that 264 mark and at least kind of consolidate around here and then use that as support. And then your next resistance would be 322. As you see, usually when you get to that mark, we get pushed back down. Uh, which is why I keep swinging this stock. So if we can get closer to that $3 mark or, you know, closer to that 322 level, uh, then that's probably where I'll start taking some profits off the table and then just kind of rinse and repeat and wait to do it all over again. And last one, guys, UVXY. Like I said, just kind of keep an eye on this thing because uh, we did start falling back down again. As you see, when we we're undervalued, it shot all the way up to overvalued. So if we can get there again, you can grab a couple of shares and this thing is super risky. So I never buy a whole lot of these things uh, because it can go either way. It, it, con it decays over time constantly. So uh, you're going to always kind of be in a downtrend, but you just have your occasional spikes in volatility is where you can make your money. But as you see, it just historically just constantly goes down and down and down. And then when it gets close to getting to zero, they do a reverse split and it pops up again in price and then continues to come down and down and down again. So. Anyway, guys, uh, have a good week this week. Best of luck to you. We'll catch you in the next one. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in this video. Make sure that you smash the thumbs up button if you found value in today's video. And if you enjoy our content, of course, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. That way YouTube can let you know every time we release new content. Other than that, guys, we'll catch you in the next video.